hey, so this is new. So if you guys do want coins and want the best players in the game for the cheapest coins on the market, make sure to go to usonbuy.com and use a discount code Visa for 5% off your total order. If you don't use a discount code, then have a cry. So enjoy the video. In life, there's a few things that's guaranteed. Death, taxes, and being turned down by every single girl you ask out. No? Just me? Alright, cool. And in FIFA, there is no exception. Your red picks from rewards is gonna be trash. Everyone plays drop back in foot champions. And you face the same players in every single game almost every weekend. In today's video, we're gonna go through the worst and most hated players in FIFA 20. I've asked you guys for help in the comments and also on my Twitter. So go on, follow me over there at official visit. I feel like you guys will appreciate it. And let's get into the top 10 most hated players in FIFA 20. Now this could be goalkeepers, defenders, midfielders, attackers, players that you see almost every single game and you almost get a shiver down your spine. You almost feel like you're gonna punch them straight in the face for the 18th thousandth time. These players will most likely cause you nightmares from now for the entirety of this game because these are the meta. This is who you'll find most commonly in this game. And if you're easy to scare, then feel free, go and grab a pillow, hide behind it because you may not want to see these guys' faces again. So, first things first, if you're new here, please feel free and subscribe. We are 5,000 subscribers away from 200,000 subscribers. If you can hit that, that means saying, guys, smash a like on this video if you do like this video it really does help out a lot more than what you think and with that said let's get into the video so what counts as the most hated player a player which you see quite often in the game and of course is always very good against you and even worse this could be players that you struggle with and you cannot use yourself but yet against you they turn into Thanos I'm pretty sure that you're smart enough that I can ask you right now give me five of these and you'll probably get the rights so you guys probably already know some of the most hated players already in this game but which order is it because you guys have helped me out a lot and it's video about which order to put these guys in. Who's number one? Who is the most hated player that we all hate to face in this game? Well, let's get into so, it. So, with that said, let's get into the top 10 most hated players. So, number 10 is going to be, and you may, you may be surprised here, is going to be Alan. Alan, the Napoli CDM Brazilian, and I must say, this guy is an absolute nightmare. I don't know why. He feels like he's Kante, but, you know, about... 10 times the price. It's insane. He's fast. He's got he's got very good defensive ability. He's not bad on the ball in terms of his dribbling. And of course, physicality. Even though he may look quite small, like a Kante, he's not as small. And his aggression, he's up for it. And he just always seems to come up with the ball in one-on-one, -on -one, uh, in 50-50 situations. I don't know why, but he's got that he's got that edge to him, which I like. I love using him, but I also hate playing against him. It's one of those love-hate relationships that we love seeing in FIFA. So, Alan, for me, I see him once every, like, three, four games and foot champions and you know what I'm kind of happy I don't see him that much and I'm sure that the more people know about him the more that we'll see him being used more often because he is a nightmare. Worst part is unlike Kante because Kante is good but got a poor finish Alan can finish. He's got decent shots on him, so he can shoot and with good pace and with good defensive abilities and also good passing and also good work rates. I don't know, man. He just always seems to be in rappers at the right time. So Alan is in number 10 for me. Number 9 is going to be, you guessed it, Militao and Lenglet. But mostly Militao. Lenglet is decent rated, so you'd expect him to be as good as what he is. But Militao, I have no idea what they're doing with this card, right? But he's only 8 to 1 rated. I don't, know, I don't know why, but this guy is insane. He seems to always be in the right place at the right time. And it, it just seems to come out with 50 50s more times than not, but I just don't get it how he's so good. He's not worth that much right now, so you see him in a lot of teams, very, very cheap. And because he's got such great links, the likes of Mendy, to likes of Cotuard, to Linglet, and he's also Brazilian, so you know that means that also means Alan could be linked to him as well. Militao is a nightmare, but I must also throw in Linglet because you never see Militao by himself, you always see Linglet next to him. And to be fair, this is by far the most common center back partnership I've seen so far this entire year, so these two have to be in this countdown. <laughs> Eight is going to be Ben Yedder. This guy, I don't know what's up with this guy, man, but when I use him, I absolutely just can't get a hang of him. I just don't find him that useful. But against me, fam, he turns into R9 Ronaldo in his prime. It's like this guy has got 99 curve, shot power, finishing, and also size. It's insane. It's like he's got a knack to him that every shot he has just kind of just gets deflected into the path of someone else. Or if my other player shoots, he's always in the right place to, t to score a tap in. I don't know why, but this guy is, is an absolute nightmare. And I see him so often, uh, especially his red card, due to links to Mbappe and them lots. He just is a very common player. And just like last year and the year before that, he's just a tricky player, which... Again, I can't seem to use the same ability as what my opponents do, and that itself drives me insane. Number seven, and I gotta say, this guy is, oh, this guy, I hate him. 
I actually hate this guy. I don't know why, but when I use him, I just didn't find him that useful. But against me, he's literally Usain Bolt, Timo Werner. I, I don't know what's wrong with this guy, man. I remember a game that I tackled this man about three times in within the space of five seconds, and he still came out with the ball. I don't know how that happens. He's it's like he's he's like he's got great, great finishing ability. He's rapid, decent drum to him as well, physical to and also good work rate. It seems like he's always making a perfect run. I don't know why. I think it's just work rate. It's always a, uh, it's positioning, but he always seems to be making a good run down the middle of both my backs each time. And if I'm playing a guy that does likes to Y free ball the entire game. Then then I'm in massive, massive trouble because this guy, I don't know why, it's like he's got a force field around him, it's weird. Team Werner is found kind of not as much anymore, not as many people have got Bundesliga team. People are not trying to get to your French teams out of that Liga team. But team Werner definitely deserves number seven in his countdown. Number six is going to be Virgil van Dijk. Now, it would be higher up, but the reason why is that his price tag means that you don't see him too often, but this guy, without a shadow of a doubt, is the best center back in the entire game. Good luck. Good luck. That's all I'm gonna say. Good luck. Bring a pen. Bring a bring a picnic. Because he's staying outside the 18 yard box for the rest of the game. Because are you getting past this man? No way. He's fast. He's strong. He's six foot four. He wins every single header. If you are trying to outstrip this man, good luck. He's got massive legs as well. So it seems like every single shot you have just gets blocked. It gets blocked every single time. He would be high up, but because of his price tag, people would expect him to be this good. So Van Dyke for me is number six in this top ten countdown. Number five is going to be Mark. Marcus Rashford, uh, he's a staple of every single BPL team. Every single 10 year old that wants to make a BPL team, they're like, okay, Rashford, and that's it. They just think of Rashford, they see pace, they see pace, they, they see pace, and that's what they get, they get pace. I see him pretty much every other game now on Foot Champions, and it's beyond a joke. He may not be the best finishing wise, but one thing he does have is that he has got an amazing ability to make good runs into my final third. He's got such good knowledge. Decently priced, about 40k, and if you see anyone with a BPL team, odds are they've got Rashford, and with that said alone, I can use him to a decent ability, but not as much as what my opponent ever does. And for that alone, he's at number 5. Number 4 is going to be the upgraded version of Rashford, and that is going to be Hugh Min Son. 5 so we Foot. That's all I've got to say. He's got he's, he's got what Rashford doesn't. The only thing that Rashford has above Son is the fact that he's got more pace. Other than that, Son outbeats him in every single category. He's got amazing finishing and dribbling is great as well. Good passing and this man is the perfect cam for your team. Or striker and he is everything that Rashford has not got other than pace. You always see Son linked up to a Lucas Moura or Musa Sissoko. And you know what? I'm going to throw in Sissoko here as well. Sissoko is just as much of a nightmare, especially in the first few weeks of this game. That's all I ever saw in every single team. All I ever saw was Musa Sissoko in every single team. It's a nightmare, man. So I'm going to put Son and Sissoko in the same tier now because these two, just like Lengla and Militao, always seem to come together. I don't know why. It's like, if you've got Son, you must have a Sissoko. It's like Mackie's fries, but without barbecue sauce. You need barbecue sauce, otherwise you're just weird. But anyway, that's number four. Into the top three now of the top ten most hated players in FIFA 20, and that would be number three, Kylian Mbappe. Now, he will be, he will be top spot if it was my choice. I must say, Considering he's so much, how on earth has so many people got him already? I see him in so many games already, and he's like, and he's worth like a million coins. How have so many people been able to get a million coins with Mbappe in the team already? I find it insane. You could have Varane as your centre back. You could put a free ball, and Varane could be five yards ahead of him, but Mbappe will still catch up to the ball. Any free ball, Mbappe gets onto it, and that's why I hate him because he he gravitates a certain type of player that specifically just does Y through balls, through balls all game long and just hope that Mbappe gets onto it because he has the pace. He will likely get in front of your player before you do. So Mbappe gravitates a kind of player which is just a Y through ball merchant and I hate this player with a passion. If you're playing someone that drops back one depth and Y through ball all game with Mbappe, you're in for a long game. That's all I'm going to say. Amazing, amazing finishing. I've seen him shoot from angles which I've never thought would ever go in and it goes top, top bins. He will be high up but because of his price tag, I don't see him that much. Like, it's not every single game so you could kind of handle it but Mbappe, number, number three for me. Number two is our first and only goalkeeper. You know who it is if, you, if you're thinking straight here and that would be Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen, ah, this guy. 
This guy gives me nightmares. I've lost so many points and I've also gained so many points and goals with this man. The amount of wins I've got in foot champions that this guy has dragged me through is insane. And same thing goes for me losing games because he just has long ass arms and he gets every single save. If it's, if it's going bottom right, bottom left, top right, top left, down the middle, top net. He, for some reason, has these long ass legs and arms that he will always get to it more times than not. When there's saves that you'd expect your goalkeeper to not get to he gets to it if they're one-on-one -on -one, he just whacks at a leg and it's and it hits his leg of course it's not every single save of course the ball does go through sometimes but i acknowledge but i've noticed that in like let's say last minute situations or last five minutes i'm holding on to a game he makes a save he saves my ass and he seems to do it more than any other keeper and i found out that you guys absolutely hate playing against him as well so number two is by far the best goalkeeper suffer this year and it's mistaken. And number one in the countdown of the most hated player in FIFA 20. And that's going to be Usman Dembele. And when I say this, when I face this guy every single game, I face this guy every single game. He's got so many links and good links to him that it's insane that it's hard to not see him. If you want a French guy, Van Ben and Mbappe, Sissoko, he's there with a link because he's French. If you want to do Semedo, put him to a 4 5 1, put Semedo right back, Usman Dembele right mid. And you're sorted. That's all you need to do. That's it. Those two are done. Then five-star weak foot. Five-star skills means that if you're playing against a guy which knows how to use him, then good luck. He's got great driven ability. And I don't know why, but this guy's got 99 shot power. I don't know why, but this guy's got insane finish ability. His finishing shot power and his curve just seems like it's unreal sometimes. So not just for the fact that he's actually really good, but because I see him so often in almost every single game because it's so easy to get him linked to a good team that... He has to be number one. He has to be. He is a staple of every single foot champions team as of right now. And for that, he is number one. So, guys, that is the top 10 most hated plays in FIFA 20. If you guys do enjoy, then smash a like button. And tell me down below in the comments, who is your most hated player out of these lots? Am I wrong? Am I right? Am I missing anyone? Tell me down below. But with that said, guys, but with that said, guys thank you guys for watching. My name is Vizal. I'll see you next time. I'm getting strong